Hi, this is Train Unlimited, a.k.a. Jim, and we're going to have a first look at the NEC New York Download Content for Train Simulator World. I'd like to go ahead and let you see the settings that I have, so let's do that now. Now uh, let me point out, I do not have an expensive gaming computer. I have about the cheapest Dell quad processor that you could get with a reasonable video card. It has to be a video card that could fit in that. So that should give you an idea of the type of processor I have. So it's not an $800,000, $900,000 gaming computer, but I wanted you to be able to see what type of frame rate I am getting with the resources that I have. So let you take a look at the settings I have in order to get that frame rate. And notice that I have a lot of things set to medium, but I do have texture quality and foliage quality set to high. Alright, let's go back to the tutorial. Well, let me show you this once again the previous settings. Okay, so it's clear what settings I'm using. Let's resume. And the way this tutorial starts, we will first enter the cab. So let's walk around. I have to watch out for these people. Now I hope those folks aren't planning to get in. You, you cannot load into this door. That's only for crew use. Let's get close enough for the door. Nah, that's a little too close. All right, let's walk over this way. All right, open the door. To do that, I did a left mouse click and go in. Now, once you get inside, a little potential problem here, you read where it says, begin powering the locomotive, first press the battery button for at least five seconds. It's not clear where you would go for that. Sometimes you're a little too far up, and you might not be able to see the little indicator telling you that the battery button is behind you. So, we turn around, and here it is back here. So, Battery button is nowhere out this way, nothing out this way for the battery button. It's back here. Now, I have not been able to close the door. I'm sure that I'm thinking the button is sort of behind the door, but um, I have not been able to close it. I'm sure that Matt or someone will see this and say, oh, all you had to do to close the door was do something that I am not doing. But anyway, what you can do is try to get a little bit, maybe it's a little bit under that battery, that uh, indicator, and then hold your left mouse button down, and that'll take care of it. Okay, so we've completed that first task. Now, something that might also be a little confusing, it says, head through the door to the right. If you're turned around like this, uh, then yes, the right is going to be here. If you were turned like this saying, okay, this is the way I came in, the door to the right is this way, that doesn't work. But to the right means after we're facing this way, turn to the right and there's our door. Let's press the left mouse key to open it up. And now let's walk down this corridor. This is just fantastic to be able to go in to the inside of a locomotive and look in. Now, I've never been inside one of these things. I assume this is how it really looks. So this is fantastic. Talking about immersion, this is it. Okay, now let's, they want it uh, to the rear. So we'll move this both rear. Okay, now it's to the rear and we've said so we've done the next task. So our next task is to just look around. Oh, great. This is fun to look around this thing. Wow. 
I sit in the engineer's chair, so let's walk back out here. I won't worry about closing the door. And sit in the engineer's chair. All right. Now we're in the engineer's chair. We want to toggle the mouse. So I'll toggle that some. Pentagraph, we see it's right here, and we'll press that. We've got that up. Main circuit breaker will be right here. And we need to move that to the closed position. Oh, there we go. From open to close. Notice you can hear the fans, I suppose it is, start up, so our locomotive has power. Now, headlights to bright and ditch, ditch lights on. Headlights be right here. Turn those to dim, bright. So go all the way over to bright. Now, the ditch lights, I want to be careful here. There's a setting that's on. Another setting is flash. Make sure you stop in the middle with home. And that objective is complete. Well, we need to get this thing going, so reverser to forward. That's right here. Now be careful with reverser. There are a number of positions. Reverse, neutral, forward, but if you go all the way over, it's reverse or out, so make sure you stop it forward. Next task will be to release brakes, and that'll be down here, the red handle, and release. At this point, the train can start moving. Now, if you use the internal controls, the horn is right here. But apparently, you have to you have to give two two blasts exactly right. Okay, that got it. The other way to do it is to just use the space key. Now we need to get moving, so let's go to the throttle. There you see it here. And go at least 40%. And on mine, I could not get it past 42%. So now we're doing what we need to do to get some speed. Let's look at some views. View 2 shows the outside view. And here's how the scenery looks. We can pan around in a field for the scenery. This should be nice. Press 2 again and you go to the rear of the train. View 3 is that new view that allows you to do just about anything you want to. Whoa! Make sure I get underneath this. I'll go back inside. Now I'll come back out. And move over this way a little bit. Alright, now back inside. We'll reach 40 miles per hour. Well, at this point they're telling us to set the... set this throttle to idle. So let's go here and go from 42% to idle. And now, let's see, red signal in 400 and some yards, so I guess I'd better bring this to initial braking. Minimum application, that should get us stopped. Once again, here's how the scenery will look. A 
I think this is going to be nice. And we're about to be stopped. I'll go back inside. So that was a quick first look at the NEC New York download content for Train Simulator World. Thank you for watching.